Fiona care was literally minute by minute. Well, she's incredibly small. Like Fiona was insanely small. We could tell that Fiona was getting weaker. She was feeling a lot cooler to the touch. I wanted to be optimistic, but at the same time, we wanted to be realistic. And I didn't want my staff getting so emotionally invested that they would just be like broken and destroyed by what seemed in the beginning like an inevitable outcome. This was January and we weren't expecting a calf until March. We had the volunteer observers watching the cameras and for whatever reason, their camera feed had gone off. I was actually reviewing the footage from over the time to see how long she'd been out of water for. And I flipped back just in time, did that like half roll and out came Fiona. He was literally spoon with her, like yeah. he was trying to transfer body heat. And yeah. like one of her very first nicknames was yeah. Spoon. It wasn't as enjoyable as it sounds because she was in rough shape. <laughs> the odds were insanely st stacked against us, and quite literally nobody had ever succeeded at it before. Her lungs were not strong enough or well-developed for her to hold her breath. You would literally see the color drain yeah. from her face, like she would become white and, and hypoxic, and it was terrifying to watch. And then we had to add the supplemental oxygen and having the little cannula in her nostril kept her from being able to pinch it shut. On like a Monday, she had started teething and there just, it had started becoming apparent that there were problems. Thursday was very much, I think a lot of us were saying goodbye and just preparing for the worst. She'd gotten really dry looking. Children's Hospital had come up as an idea. Luckily they have their fancy ultrasound <laughs> machine. Mm -hmm. They could do a lot. Really early on, through the zoo had posted an image. I was just sitting there looking at the comments and I just kept scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. I think that night I was like, holy cow, people really care about this little thing. Her little face was adorable. Oh, it was little, so tiny. She was like the most beautiful, amazing little thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone got popped and everybody got knocked down at least <laughs> once. Yeah. When she started learning to like run and she's fast yeah. and she was, by that time she was probably like around 200 pounds yeah. and just like a solid little. Right. Like a linebacker. <laughs> yeah. Introducing her to BB yeah. was terrifying. <laughs> we had no idea what was gonna happen and it's Fiona. Like it's like the world's hippo. Right. I think I spent equal amounts of time um, trying to make sure that BB and Fiona looked like they were ready and making sure the keepers were ready. <laughs> She's like the classic underdog story where everyone mm -hmm. loves it. She, she, the odds were, I mean, stacked is not even the right word. She no. should not be here. No. So cute. Oh my God. And not only is she surviving, she's thriving on it's the feel good story of 2017.